Welcome back, everybody, for some more Empyrean Galactic Survival. Now, we've received the official release of Update Alpha 6.0. And first things first, I'm going to go ahead and say I am not a fan of this release. Uh, and I'm going to go over why. And this is my opinion, but I, I really don't like this release because there is a lot of problems caused from it. But one of the first things they have done, as you can see here, is we've got some visual updates. We also get more than just one uh, drop, one item from some of the uh, food now, like pick up four corn. So I actually will be able to get a lot more corn, which means I really technically need to reorganize my farm now after I just got it all nicely set up uh, a few episodes ago. Uh, we've also got visual changes on the way everything is stored. Now, from what I can tell, it's just a visual change. It doesn't seem to be a case of a smaller capacity in any way uh, so that is new we also have an update to our overall look of things and here is one of the first problems I noticed with the update is that my original level before the update was 20 apparently they decided to extend the level cap to 25 and as a result now I have been dropped to level 18 which means that certain things like the fusion cell, I am technically supposed to be unable to make, but I still have access to it, so at least they didn't screw things up even worse by making it where I could not build them anymore. If they had done that, I probably would not be playing right now. I'd probably be just saying, this is the end of the series for now, because I'm too mad about that. Uh, another thing they have done, you can see here on the bottom left, is they have changed the uh, heads-up display for this. Show like your helmet, your jetpack, if your environment has oxygen, does it have gravity? I'm believing this is a hostile alien creature, this is a drone, or maybe this is alien forces and bases. I'm not sure yet because I've wiped all that out off of this planet already. Uh, another thing they've added is armor lockers. And if you've been watching the experimental builds, this is now what you need to use to be able to uh, add armor to it. Right now, all I have available is light armor. Uh, but that is the only way you will have a helmet and jetpack option. You will not be able to get them any other way. Now, uh, as I said, I have uh, not seen any loss in materials that I have. It appears to be they are still the same volume and capacity, but I it's a different visual look. Now, the biggest, biggest complaint I have right now about this update is that the devs clearly did not test everything. They swapped out to a new system. And let me just show you here. If I go in to my fuel tank, it pulls up a new system, which makes it easier to fill your fuel, uh, fuel level up by you can shift click or you can just drag it over and it'll fill it up to 100%. Now, the good thing about this is that it combines all your fuel tanks, all your oxygen tanks. So like in this case, for the capital vessel, uh, I have multiple fuel tanks. I've got two T2 fuel tanks and two T3 fuel tanks, but now I don't have to go to each one individually. I can sit there and just click manage and I can fill it up and I'm done or I can hit fill all and it takes what it has in my inventory automatically to fill it. Same thing with oxygen. It does make it a lot easier same thing on ammunition and warp tank. You do have a much easier way to do certain things here uh, as far as the update. The problem I have is that by switching to this system, the thing the developers did not fully test is that when I first loaded the game after the update, and this is one of the things I, I was hearing problems with the update, so I made my client not update immediately. So that's why last week's episode, I was still on the older version. I updated immediately after I got the video done and I ran into a major problem. And that problem was by switching to this new version of management, all my vessels, my capital vessels, small vessels and hover vessels, all had their entire fuel capacity and oxygen capacity wiped out. So that was, uh, least around I would say a hundred fusion packs lost just from the capital vessel alone so 
I was absolutely not at all a happy camper when I loaded this game up and came in and found my capital vessel was turned off. And when I tried to turn it on, it wouldn't turn on. And I came and found I had no power because all my fuel was gone. You know, there are some good things about the update. I'm not saying the update is just terrible. It is a very problematic update. They did not uh, test everything thoroughly enough. But there are good things about the update. One of those good things is the map system has been updated. So now you can add map markers. And as you can see, I have a single marker here right now. And that marker is for an iron meteorite. Now, as soon as I load the game, I was getting meteorite after meteorite falling. It was like, oh, a meteorite is uh, uh, falling. Uh, be sure to find it and uh, extract resources. I was like, okay, where's the meteorite? And I'm sitting there looking up all through the sky and I can't see the meteorite anywhere so you don't apparently get to see them fall uh, and they do not seem to fall nearby it seems that they are designed right now to fall away from you and you have to go look for them because there's no actual like impact type thing it's not like you see it falling down and impact on the ground as you can see, there's no crater, it's just a meteorite sitting here in the ground. Whether they change that later or not, I don't know. Okay, right there you see a new meteor just came in and actually, okay, so the meteorites do fall down. You actually can see it because that is the first time I have seen one fall. And I didn't even see it, I actually just saw the trail at the end. I heard it hit. After, right after seeing the update saying that it was falling. And now, I'm going to back out. It's still not daytime yet, but you see how much smaller that meteorite is right there. That it's just shrinking down as I drill into it. And then at the very end, you hear that big breaking sound like, uh, like when you accidentally destroy a support for part of a structure and that whole piece falls off. It's that sound. Now, uh, let me show you how much I got from that. If that's the right one. No, it's the second one. All right, let's see. So, a little more than a thousand uh, iron from that. So, not a huge amount. Not like going out and getting 5,000 iron from a uh, deposit. But it is a nice additional feature now in that certain cases where a player may have already exhausted the resources of a planet by removing all of the uh, resource deposits as yours truly the host has here where there's no other deposits left on the planet uh, this is useful because now you can continue to get resources you just have to go find them when the meteorites fall another thing and let me do this uh, I'll show you here you can actually I've still got that marker there and it actually shows my distance to it as well. I removed the marker and now it's no longer visible. But I can go here and select, well, the cobalt meteorite if I get it to line up right. I can select it and make a new marker. Now, you only see these when you are in proximity. So I don't know if that's the same case anymore for the resource deposits because you don't seem to have a way for these to show up now it does list how many deposits there will be and it's uh, meteorites you know uh, like that so you can get these types of meteorites here on the planet it'd be nice to see a whole bunch of uh, promethium meteorites fall uh, but I don't want to wait for that to happen because I have pretty much exhausted every bit of this planet now so I'm gonna finish up this meteorite and then we're gonna uh, get the heck out of Dodge and take everything, the capital vessel, small vessels, hover vessels, everything. And we're gonna fly off of the planet and head for the moon. Okay, so I couldn't finish that meteorite because it was embedded around some rocks, so I couldn't get to it, but that's okay. Uh, I got most of it. And while I was harvesting it, two more alerts for meteorites came on so there's two more meteorites that have fallen already somewhere around the planet so I'm wondering if the difficulty level for the planet causes more to fall or if it's a matter of there's a maximum limit and you see there's another one falling right now uh, that means in the last 
you know, 10 minutes, three have fallen or actually four have fallen because it count that one I was harvesting. So I wonder if there's a maximum number for the planet that there can be current meteorites laying around the place or if it's a matter of how fast they fall based on the difficulty level. I really don't know that yet, but I'm not going to bother going around trying to find these other ones. I want to get off this planet. I want to go to the moon because I'm assuming the moon's going to have meteorites too. If not, the next planet will. So I've got cobalt there. I've got sathium there. Uh, that's a decent size deposit. I got plenty of contaxid, which I will be farming a ton of that here. So I have plenty for my uh, warp tank, which is 84% full anyway. Uh, but now it's time to figure out where I want to go. And there's a whole bunch of nothing that I have not... If there's anything there, I haven't found it yet. So we got these. We got a drone base. I'm thinking the drone base might be a good starting point. All right, here we go on the drone base. Let's see how close I can get with this block before they start shooting at me. And I'm hoping now with the release of this update... Maybe they have fixed things where the drone base will actually produce additional drones and I can be sitting up here farming drones for more resources. Huh. The uh, defenses aren't attacking me. And I got a nice landing spot here. Uh, let's see. Huh. Interesting. Is it out of power? Is it abandoned? Ah, this this could be just very useful. Instead of having a drone base to actually have to fight against, I have a drone base that has nothing going on, and I can just sit here and strip mine everything. Oh, wrong faction. Why is that the wrong faction? And this isn't. Why is it I could sit here and do that, but not the other door? Wrong faction. Again. So cert one door worked and another one didn't? Hmm. Let's blow this door out. And I have all these entity spawners. What is this? Holographic screen. So yeah, I guess it's got no power for some reason. That's unusual. Why is it showing no power on this? Oh, and there is a door to the roof right there. Oh, oh, wrong faction. Well, I guess I'm going to have to destroy it. Let's find this core that is clearly going to be here. Okay, what did I hit besides that? Alright, that was black in there. Black in there. These all Mac armor doors, so yeah, takes a little bit more to destroy them, and it may be I'm not able to destroy them. Yeah, okay, that's not doing anything. Yeah, okay, apparently. Oh, I'm going to need uh, some better weapons for this, it looks like. Let's see. we got some stuff over this way and a big bunch of nothing here. Let's just do a quick scout through and see what I can find. Oh, 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 I got a bogey. I got a bogey. What are you doing, buddy? Are you uh on patrol or are you? Yeah, it looks like he's just on patrol. And that was a quick 1300 XP right there for that. Let's get some stuff from you, which you have nothing. Did they decide that uh, it was too easy to farm the drones for electronic components and such? Oh, 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 we got a rocket drone. 
Oh, and he's trying to shoot me too. Now this guy actually came up and tried to shoot me and we got normal, normal collection of resources from that guy. That's awesome. So they didn't completely take it out where all you get is like a little bit of ammo from the drones. You actually can still get real supplies from them. Maybe he looks, looks like he's stuck. Yeah, he was stuck. And I like how the large res residential complex apparently has the same design here as it does back on Aqua. Akua, whatever you call it. Wait a second. Who shot at me? Did I just get shot at? By another drone? That sounded like a rocket hitting. So unless one of them fired at me with a homing rocket and I just lucked out and that it didn't catch me uh, like because it ran into a wall or something that's fine that looks like a smaller generator than the other one was you know what if it's the same design then that means yep the core is right there uh, alright I think that's a good start for my efforts here on the Akua Moon. I've got a bunch of resources found. I've still got a few left to find. Oh, there goes another one. Nice Sathium resource deposit. So I've got plenty of stuff to harvest this week. They don't seem to be very large deposits, so it's going to be easy for me to go in and take them uh, and clear them out and get you, Mr. Rocket Drone. Yay! Uh, I may do like a... Uh, a run around the planet first if I can get this to let me stop the why can't I not exit there we go finally uh, I may do like a run around the planet in the uh, hover tank just so I have uh, protection while I am scouting some of these areas around out plus I have this uh, where is it where is it uh, not the drone base, but this crashed Hyperion. Some big capital vessel crashed on the moon. I've got it to check out. So I definitely want to get that scoped out. And I'm going to be gathering a ton of the Pentaxid just for uh, stockpiling so I can jump from system to system and that brings me to another point another thing they changed on this is now I don't have the whole map anymore I just have the adjacent one so I go to trading outpost I can go to skill on or I can go to Omicron and I'm thinking Omicron is gonna be the next stop I'm not sure skilling if I really want to go there just yet I don't you know from what I've read and from the name it sounds like there might not be a bunch of water there and I need water so I can continue to stockpile my hydrogen uh, or get hydrogen so I can make my fusion packs because I want as many fusion packs as possible so that I can sit there and have plenty of power for when I go on the plants that don't have water and I know there are uh, there's a lava planets uh, around the area so I'm pretty sure the lava plants are not going to have water resource so that would make things a little bit difficult if I went to one of those and I end up being like, oh, I don't have enough power to even fly out of the atmosphere back to another planet. So, uh, and yeah, I'm having problems with that door too. That's another issue. But yeah, I definitely want to get some stuff cleared out this week. Uh, I don't think we're going to spend very long on the uh, moon because there's fewer resources here. There's fewer points of interest. And it looks like the drone base isn't even uh, having power. So it, it ain't going to be attacking me. I just got to find, clear all the drones from the planet, clear all the resource deposits, and uh, I'll be done. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. Keep up with all my content during the week. Posting six days a week. You can also follow me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter if you like. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.